Hi guys, it's Lindsay Ann, and with Thanksgiving just around the corner, I came up with a really fun twist on a Thanksgiving classic with my pumpkin pie cake. All dressed up to look just like a real pumpkin pie, but with everything we love about a slice of cake and frosting. If you're like me and you love all the festive pumpkin spice flavored desserts with all the warm fall spices, but you don't love traditional pumpkin pie, this cake is so much fun because it looks just like a classic pie, but it's actually a moist, fluffy pumpkin spice cake on top of a buttery cookie crust and topped with a smooth pumpkin spice cream cheese frosting. So we start with the crust by making a super simple cookie dough to press into the pie plate. So into our bowl goes one stick of room temperature butter, which is half a cup, and just beat that until it's nice and smooth. Then add a third a cup of sugar and beat this together on medium speed until it's nice and fluffy. Next, beat in two tablespoons of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Last, we add one and a quarter cup of flour and just beat this on low speed until it starts to come together and form a nice dough. There we go, that's perfect. Now we're just gonna spray our pie dish with a little nonstick spray and press the dough right into the bottom and up the sides of the pie dish. And just go ahead and use the palm of your hand so it's nice and packed in there. And if you want, you really could just use a pre-made store-bought crust or a graham cracker crust for a really simple alternative. All right, I'm just gonna let this chill in the fridge for a little bit and then we're gonna bake it in a preheated 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's just lightly golden and then we'll get started on the cake batter. Okay, so for the moist, fluffy pumpkin spice cake, we're gonna start by just adding one cup of flour into a small bowl with one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. And just whisk this all together. Now in a large mixing bowl, we're just gonna add two large eggs, half a cup of vegetable oil, two thirds cup of granulated white sugar, and one third cup of packed brown sugar. And we're just gonna beat this together with an electric mixer on medium speed for about two minutes until it's nice and pale and fluffy. Next, we're gonna add the star of the show, one cup of pumpkin puree. And just make sure you're using 100% pure pumpkin and not the canned pumpkin pie filling for this. We just want the straight up pumpkin. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and three quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And that's gonna add that warm classic pumpkin pie flavor. And just beat this all together until it's nice and combined. Last, we're gently just gonna mix in the flour mixture until it's just combined. We just wanna make sure we're not over mixing it so our cake stays nice and light and fluffy and tender. And that was it. So now I'm gonna get our baked crust that's been cooling and then we'll be able to pour the cake batter right inside and just pour it all right in there. So now we're just gonna bake this in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 35 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. And as always, you guys can get the full recipe, all the instructions on my website at lindsayannbakes.com. So after the video, head on over there for all the details and more of my favorite Thanksgiving recipes. All right, let's get this in the oven. So while our cake is baking, we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting that we're gonna spread all over the pumpkin spice cake to make it look like a real pumpkin pie. And we're gonna pipe some on top to look like whipped cream. It is so cute. So in a bowl, you're just gonna beat a quarter cup of butter on medium speed until it's nice and smooth. Then beat in half an eight ounce block of cream cheese. And just make sure these are both at room temperature so we don't get any lumps in our frosting and we get this nice, smooth, silky texture. Then we add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And in goes about two cups of powdered sugar on low speed, a little bit at a time until it's all nice and incorporated. All right, now I'm just gonna crank this back up to medium speed for about three minutes until it's nice and smooth and creamy. All right, now we're gonna set aside about half a cup of this to use to pipe on those swirls of fake whipped cream on top. There we go. So I'm just putting this right in a piping bag fitted with a star tip. Now with the rest of the frosting, we're gonna add three tablespoons of our pumpkin puree, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a tablespoon or two of maple syrup. And beat this all together. And to get that pumpkin pie color, we're just gonna add a few drops of red and yellow food coloring to give it that orange hue. 
and just mix that all in there. All right, so our cake should be almost done at this point, so I'm gonna go get it out of the oven and let it start cooling. All right, so our cake baked up beautifully, so we're just gonna let this cool before we add all the finishing touches. So once your cake is nice and cool, if it formed a little dome on top from baking, you can always just slice that right off with the knife to create this nice flat surface. Mine looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna spread our pumpkin cream cheese frosting right on top and just spread it all around until you get that nice flat layer that looks just like real pumpkin pie. So that's why we want our frosting nice and thin and spreadable. And if you guys tried this out for your own Thanksgiving table, make sure to tag me in a picture on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter at Lindsay Ann Bakes and let me know how it turned out. All right, now I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge, let it set up a little bit, and then we will add the final touches to our pumpkin pie cake. This is so cool, it already looks like a real pumpkin pie. But what's pumpkin pie without whipped cream? So let's take that cream cheese frosting we set aside from earlier and pipe on some swirls to make it look like real whipped cream right on top. So there it is, our pumpkin pie cake. I cannot wait to see how this looks when we slice into it. Look at those layers of buttery cookie and that fluffy pumpkin cake topped with frosting. I think my favorite part are these cute little swirls on top of each slice. I hope you guys enjoyed my fun twist on a classic Thanksgiving dessert. And leave me a comment and let me know whether you prefer pumpkin pie or pumpkin cake like I do. And don't forget, head on over to lindsayandbakes.com for the full recipe and tons more that I know you're gonna love. And be sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel to be the first to see my all new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy Thanksgiving!